You should definitely read this book, The Startup Wife by Taniman Aman. Uh, it is a really easy, breezy book to read. Uh, it's not too demanding. It's not too philosophical packed. Uh, the language she uses is very uh, easy to digest. Uh, there's no like big words in there that you should be afraid of looking up in a dictionary. Uh, so I definitely give it a thumbs up to read if you have the time. Uh, and so the book actually focuses on um, Asha, Sirius, and Jules, three groups of friends uh, who come up with an idea to make a social platform where you can find people through an algorithm, obviously, similar to Facebook, similar to Twitter, uh, that connects you based on beliefs or uh, rituals that you might have that are a little bit odd or might be a little bit out of your realm and just puts you together in the community, which is actually a good idea. Uh, and so it actually doesn't focus on the startup itself. It's more on the culture and how it changes Asha a little bit, how she dims herself, her light on uh, her well-being for this startup uh, life. Um, and there's references in there that I think she captures really well uh, because I've been in the startup culture. So there's a reference to a gong bath uh, and it is what you, Think it sounds like it's someone just clicking on the gong while you take a bath and it's sold as a way for you to recuperate and rejuvenate um even though you know a lot of these things are in in terms of startup culture it's not really demanding i guess maybe mind wise but you know when you think about it the people working in the projects that you don't see in the background you know cleaning uh, making sure you have the kombucha, making sure you have those baths, making sure you have that water. Those jobs are actually much more harder and much more demanding. And I wish there was a little bit of focus on that in this book, but you know, I know she can cover everything in this book. Um, but one important thing that I got from um, the author is that uh, a lot of times relationships, especially we tend to dim ourselves and our well-being for others and for the idea of what that might bring. And so I think it's very important that you also always consider yourself first and that you make sure just always reiterate to you that you are worth it and that you deserve a lot and that your ideas and your value matter. Uh, and so never let anyone take that away from you. I think that's overall what I got from this book. So <laughs> uh, definitely make sure to check it out. Um, I think it's a really good read. Check it out. Get it at your local library, Barnes and Nobles, wherever you want to uh, get a book. Especially, it's really easy to read, like I said. Uh, it's about a week, maybe two weeks long. So definitely check it out. All right. Bye.